All right, this is going to be our scene on Sporothrix shankii. This is a fungus, a dimorphic fungus. So we can see there's a die in the scene to help us remember so it's di that it's dimorphic. And we're going to remember this scene is going to be on Sporothrix because here we have the Trix Bunny. The Trix Bunny is going to help us remember Trix. And he's in this sports scene to help us remember Sporo. This is going to be the sports Trix Bunny for Sporothrix. You might have noticed that the Trix Bunny here has a cigar in his mouth to help us remember that the Sporothrix Shankai fungus exists as cigar-shaped yeast at 37 degrees in the human body, and as hyphae with spores in soil. Now, this is definitely an interesting football game. We have some interesting players here, and they're going to help us remember associations of Sporothrix Shankii. So Sporothrix Shankii lives on vegetation. These fungi can be found on living plant tissue, and the organism is introduced into the host tissue through a rose thorn prick. And that's why we have this football player here. He's actually just a rose to help us remember the rose thorn prick. And in fact, Sporothrix Shankii causes rose gardener's disease. Once introduced into the skin, it initially causes local pustules or ulcers with nodules along draining lymphatics. And that's why we have this draining lymph node over here. And we have the nodules seen on this side of the lymph node. In immunocompromised patients, Sporothrix shankii can cause disseminated disease. Now let's talk about treatment of Sporothrix shankii. Over here is the only fan in the scene, but he is like a troll with an eye. There's a very distinct eye over there, the eye troll, to help us remember itroconazole. And we also see that he's got KI on top of his head. Maybe that stands for the initials of his name? I don't know. But for our purposes, it's to help us remember potassium iodide. Widely available treatment for Sporothrix shankii, which just doesn't always work, is potassium iodide. But it's important to remember that these treatments are for the cutaneous or the lymphocutaneous type, not when there's disseminated disease. Okay, thank you so much for watching the scene. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.